Hey, Nate. Oh, hey, Jenna. What you doing? Oh, I'm doing an experiment. I'm flipping a coin a thousand times to see what the odds of it being heads each time are. Um, well, wouldn't it be a 50% chance since there are only two sides? Oh, I guess that would make sense. Kind of like the odds that it's gonna rain today. Really? Yeah, it either does or it doesn't. Oh, Nate, I don't think that's how odds work. Never tell me the odds. Teachers, do you look around the room wondering who you're going to call on? Well, teachers, this week's Thursday Learn Day activity is just for you. We are going to create the ultimate randomizer so that you can randomize anything in your classroom. Let's start with something as simple as flipping a coin. <laughs> we can create a number variable called random picker and use the random integer operator block to choose between two values. Okay, so like when you're flipping a coin, if one side faces up, or in our case in the program, if a one is chosen instead of a two, then it's heads. Right, but to make it a little bit more advanced, um, we can add a condition on there that does something and <laughs> that simulates the flipping of a coin. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's go to the Sphero EDU app to see how this is done. So we already have our random picker variable created and it is being set to a random value of one or two. Then we have a loop until block that will operate until that condition is met. In this case, we will create the condition with a comparator block. The comparator block will compare the total accelerometer sensor block and will loop until the condition is met that the total accelerometer measures more than two Gs. Then we will know what the result of the coin flip was because the speak block will tell us. A value of one equals heads and a value of two equals tails. Flip a coin. Heads. Flip a coin. Tails. Well, very cool, Nate. So by using that logic, we can actually apply that to different numbers. For example, rolling a dice, like numbers one through six. Yeah, absolutely. And for teachers, let's say you have 20, 30, 70 students in your classroom, you could use the same logic and create a random name picker using that same logic. There you go. And I use that same logic lots and lots and lots, same logic. For this week's Thursday Learn Day activity, teachers, you can go through the activity yourself. We'll walk you through flipping a coin and how to do rolling a dice. But if you want to do a random name picker, that'll be the extended challenge of this week's Thursday Learn Day activity. Be sure to check it out on the Sphero EDU app and stay tuned for even more Thursday Learn Days.